What up guys, today we are talking about the only three dress shoes every guy needs. What's up guys, welcome back to Genslon. I'm George, this is Blake. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now, it really, really helps us out. Today we are taking it way back, like throwback back what? to literally the first video we ever put out on this channel and it was three dress shoes every guy needs to own and Blake and I, we picked three different dress shoes and we are super, super awkward in that video. So I'm going to link to it down <laughs> below so you can check it out and see how far we have come. Was that our first or second video? Um, I think it was the first one we released. Nice. Okay. The information in there is somewhat valid, but I think we have a more updated version today that is going to make a lot more sense to you. So as you can see, Blake and I have three different three dress shoes that every guy should have. So this is very, very subjective. 100%. But we are going to give you our reasons mm -hmm. for each of these three and why we picked these three ourselves. And you know, for you, based on your lifestyle, your job, where you live, um, your budget, these shoes may be different in your wardrobe, but these are just something to think about and have something to fit every occasion. All right, you wanna go first? All right, up first guys, okay, so. I'm gonna start with these Gucci's. So these are Gucci loafers. First of all, I feel every guy should have a loafer. I'm a loafer guy, okay? As you can tell, George is not. I love loafers. I feel they are very, they're like formal without having to be too formal, you know? Um, these in particular are a cognac color Gucci loafer that can be worn both dressed up and casually, both in the summer and the winter, if you're in LA, mm -hmm. because of the soles. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, they're, stu they're super stylish. It's almost like a statement shoe. In our first video, I always spoke about a statement shoe, and I felt like in our first video that you needed a color and you need to be bold, but now, no, I think now just a nice Gucci loafer that is, you know, is very bold without having to be too bold. Okay, guys, so my first shoe, I chose this whole cut with a little um, medallion on the toe from Two Boot New York. One, because I think it covers a wide range of possibilities and shoes that you could have in your closet. Like for me, this would replace a wingtip and Oxford just because it, I mean, it is a little more formal, but the color, the light brown color, you could still wear it with denim, but I would still mostly suit this up and it would work, you know, just in any occasion. This is very, very versatile and it is kind of a more statement shoe, like Blake said, because it is a whole cut, but you know, it's, not too loud, not too crazy, because it only has a little bit of broguing, and it still looks very, very clean and very, very smooth. All right, guys, so up next, I have, so yes, this is a loafer, but it's the color, okay? So this specific color, black, okay? I feel every guy needs one pair of black shoes, okay? It don't have to be a loafer, but in for my instance, a black loafer is ideal. I typically only wear black when I'm going dressed up, okay? So when I'm wearing a suit, when I'm going to a former event, always black and I started not wearing black brogues and black wingtips because I felt like they were it was it, I don't know it just gave me more of like an like an elder man you know I felt like I, was, I looked like my dad so I went more in like a sleek loafer versus like a brogue that's wider that has laces and if you're asking like okay but um, what about your socks you, you could just pair a nice like um, cashmere black sock and just looks super elegant dude um so nice I think every guy needs one pair of black shoes. I have mine, they happen to be a loafer because I'm a loafer guy. Yes. Um, I'm going to agree with Blake, kind of, but maybe your fourth shoe could be a black shoe. If, you, if, like, if you're not in an office setting and you're not going to super formal events all the time and you dress a little bit more casual, you don't necessarily need a black shoe. Um, I have a few pairs, but I, find myself wearing them probably the least out of all of my shoes in my closet. So number two for me is this brown derby from Crosby Square. So I went with this one specifically because it has a little thicker sole. Um, it's a nice medium brown. So it's perfect to also be a versatile shoe for, you know, casual suits or with denim and, you know, to wear it a little very, very casually. It works both ways. The shoe is super comfortable. And just, you know, I've had a little fun with the laces here, but you know, brown laces work just fine either way. So now onto my last pair of shoes. So these are a cap toe. These are by Two Boot New York. I love them. I feel every guy needs like a dark brown shoe. 
um, something that's a little different from the black, you know, so you could you, you could see the clear uh, distinction that this is black, this is brown, but it's not too light where you're limited, you know, because I feel like there's certain browns like that you could only wear with like a brown bow and you have to like be really matchy. But this right here blends in because of the darker hues and the black and makes it look like a more, I don't know, like, like a black shoe. Like for instance, those guys who wear all black shoes every day, they can pull these off without feeling out of place. And I like them, I feel like they're, they're very dressed up with the suit, it'll look nice and sleek if it's tailored to a T have the cuff right here, oh, these are gonna look so nice. Well, as you can see, Blake and I have totally different personal preferences because this color to me is like so boring. Not to, it's just like, if I looked down at my foot and saw that color shoe, I'd be like, okay, you didn't try to but do anything. I think it's also the color. It's also, I, I love the, the, just the shoe in general, you know? I get it. You know, so I think it has to all flow, you know? But it also like, this color works for you. Like every time I see you in a shoe like this, I'm like, yeah, looks damn good. And it's, it's honestly guys, what you feel comfortable in as well. So for me, I like more lighter tone browns when I wear brown, this is probably the darkest I go, but yeah, as you can the, see, you love lighter brown, That's right? Me. But as you can see, it's it's even darker than this, but it just it has a different like brown, warmth dude. to it. This is like burgundy, dude. You keep saying it's brown. This is brown. That's a burgundy. It's I, a oh, that's burgundy, dude. It's like, brown. Earlier you said that, and it, it's it's just been eating me, dude. Like this is you, not red. You don't like dark brown shoes. No. You prefer like, obviously a burgundy. <laughs> okay, sure. All right, guys. I guess we're gonna have another com conversation. Is this burgundy or brown? I, I mean, say brown. That's brown. Dude, I can't wait to win this one, all right? This You're not gonna win this one. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, so my last shoe is a monk strap, and I do think that this is also a good shoe to wear casually and formally. Basically, if this is a little bit more formal and this will be a little less formal, but you're still gonna make a statement. You're still gonna have that pop. I get compliments on these shoes oh, those are sick, all the time. I've had these for like, five years now oh, yeah. and it is, it is a little less crazy of like a brogue cap toe monk strap so you get a little bit of hints of accents just to kind of set the shoe off but it definitely doesn't overpower like a bold suit or something else that you're trying to make a statement in your outfit. I feel like those monks in particular I mean they they attract so much attention but they also, I feel like if you're wearing a bold suit, it could bring it, it can make it all like synchronized and bring it down, you know? Cause sometimes you just focus on the suit, you're like shit, that's really bold. But when it looks all, I love this dude. Yes. Yeah. And that pretty much wraps up the video, but I'm going to say that Blake put two loafers in his video, which is why I didn't put a loafer in my video. I do love my tassel loafers and I contemplated pulling them off the shelf for this video. Why didn't you? But I don't think that they're the most versatile shoe in all situations and if i'm only going to have three dress shoes ever i could live without the loafer is what i'm saying yeah and i also feel like three different styles like yours are more chunky i guess you could say yours are more east coast weather proof mine are more west coast like mine are a little sleeker yours are are these are these are like a you know? got a little strength yeah a little strength to them you know like if, I don't know. So guys, this is the point that the three dress shoes for you are going to be completely different than the three dress shoes of your best friend or someone yeah. else at your office. So just because someone says, you need these three dress shoes to complete your gentlemanly wardrobe, you do need three dress shoes, yes. yes. But they are not always the same. You need to make the choice on your own for your style, for your job, for what you do on a regular basis and how you dress above the shoe. Like, these shoes don't work unless you have the right outfit on on top of them. 100%. So we have videos that cover all of that as well. I'll try to link to some videos that will go with each other along with our original video where you can see, <laughs> oof, please comment, comment if you do click that video, comment on that video and let us know what you think. Just, it's gonna, I, bear, I doubt you make it through the first two minutes. Yeah, just, but please do. Yes. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will link to all these shoes that are still available. Some of these are a little old, so I'll try to find some similar options if I can. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do it right now. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, at Jen Slimes, give us a follow over there. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Cheers. Cheers.